What's up guys, this is Alan and in today's episode I'm going to be telling you the hidden benefits of gardening. A lot of you guys think gardening is just about growing your own food, being self-sufficient, beating the system, but guess what? There are so many hidden benefits of gardening that I did not even think about until I actually experienced them myself. So in today's episode I'm going to be telling you the four hidden benefits that I have personally benefited from gardening. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, let's talk about hidden benefit number one, and that is social. Being social. All right, what do I mean by that? I am one of the most anti-social people you will ever meet in your life. But do I look like it in my videos? Nope. Do I look like it like that when you meet me in person? Nope. You know why? Because you like plants, and I like plants. And gardening will bring people together. Gardening will make you more social, whether you like it or not. When you put time and effort blood and tears into growing your first tomato or whatever it is that you like growing and then you have more than you can actually eat yourself what's the first thing that you do you share with all your friends your family members everybody that knows you or even doesn't know you you share and you know what that does it makes you happy it makes you social because it makes you talk to other people even if you don't like them I don't like people I don't trust people the only people I like right there my little dog and then I have seven other dogs I love animals I got horses I got chickens I got ducks I got everybody yes they're loyal they love me I love them but I don't like people in general but guess what if you like plants I will talk to you we will get along if you like animals and plants you're gonna be my best friend and that's what gardening will do to you it will make you more social and it did to me I hated talking to people but I can tell you as I started growing my stuff and getting fruits and then I, I get my customers that come to my property to get my uh, to buy my trees and then they see fruits and then I have fruits I have extra I share with them and you know what that does to me it brings me joy it makes me smile knowing that somebody appreciates something that I grew myself there's no better feeling that you're gonna get out there better than getting money money does not do that to me but knowing somebody is enjoying the stuff that I grew, priceless. Hidden benefit number two, and that is physical benefits. All right, guys, whether you believe this or not, I don't care. But I can tell you, gardening will heal you physically. It will give you physical benefits. If you're sick, gardening will fix that for you. Yes. Whatever illness you have, if you start eating from your own the stuff that you grew yourself, that you know where it came from, you will benefit from it. You will feel the difference. Because a lot of the food that you buy at the stores is full of chemicals. These chemicals are meant to keep you sick. They're meant to keep you compliant. They're meant to keep you dumb. But as soon as you start growing your own food supply, or at least you know where it's coming from, you will actually notice the differences. How do I know about this? Well, check this out. I'm not making this up. I feel it myself. I have all kinds of issues, guys. I've been blown up in deployment. I got back issues, shoulder issues, knee issues, all issues. I guess what? When I eat the stuff that I grew myself, I feel better physically. Does the pain go away? Not 100%. But I can tell you, if I actually emphasized on medicinal plants, which I'm going to do in the future, I can tell you those things will actually make a difference. You just got to know what to eat and what not to eat. And there is a reason why um, natural medicine is not taught in schools. Because it actually works. It actually benefits you. Just think about it. Ask yourself, why is natural medicine not taught in school? Mother Earth was put in this world for a reason to benefit us and will benefit it but yet they don't teach you that in schools there is a reason anytime that something makes sense and you know it's supposed to be that way that is the truth anyways it will heal you physically like I was uh, doing some research and then I found this guy he was actually in the news which I'm surprised they actually covered that in the news the people that did that probably got fired for telling the truth but anyways this guy has stage 4 cancer and then he, he I think he had like six months to live or something like that and he had nothing to lose 
he's gonna die anyway, right? So what he's got to lose? So he went on a on a, on a raw diet, meaning only vegetables, nothing processed. He knew exactly where everything was coming from, and uh, magically he got healed. So I went from never going to any doctors, hospitals, clean bill health to having stage 3B melanoma. When more tumors were found, the doctor suggested chemo. With that chemotherapy, I had about a 40% chance to live five years. So Eric read and read, questioned everything, and found a study from the National Institute of Health on his prescribed form of chemo. It didn't increase your chances of surviving by 1%. So Eric kept digging and finally decided to forego the conventional treatment method and try a more holistic approach using food as medicine. I went guns a-blazing into Gerson therapy. Gerson therapy is unproven and extremely controversial within the medical field. The treatment shifts the focus from destroying cancer cells to nurturing the healthy cells. Eric even flew out to San Diego to take a class on it. It's eating whole plant-based foods and juicing uh, 13 times a day for two years. Just like that. And you know what? He's not just one person. If you actually do research, you will see all kinds of people talking just like that. And if you have cancer and you're watching me right now, what do you have to lose? Just eat veg vegetables of all kinds. These plants were put on this earth for a reason. You just have to find that reason. And I just gave it to you. All right, guys, hidden benefit number three, and that is mentally. Gardening will heal you mentally. What do I mean by mentally? I'm talking about gardening will give you purpose. All right, guys, a lot of you guys out there are depressed. A lot of you guys have mental issues. I have my mental issues. Everybody does. But I can tell you gardening has actually helped me tremendously. Back in the day, I felt like I was living in Groundhog Day. I will get up in the morning, I will take care of my animals, I will do my thing, then the day was over, I will go to bed, get up in the morning, do the same thing over and over and over nonstop. You know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have to go to work in the morning, you have a routine, you follow it every single day and hardly anything changes. That will eat you up mentally. But you know what gardening will do? It will change all of that for you. Gardening will give you purpose. Now you have a plant you have to take care of. So guess what? Before you leave to work, you're going to water that plant. And that plant is going to reward you. And you're going to feel that reward. Let's say you're depressed. It's very hard for you to feel happy. But when you see your plant grow, and let's say you have a vegetable plant or you have a fruit tree, and you see the plant giving you vegetables and fruits from the efforts that you put into it, that will automatically bring joy to your life. And remember, gardening will make you social. So let's say you're antisocial like I am. Maybe you're depressed, you got PTSD, whatever it is. Guess what? Now you're gonna share your fruits with other people and it will heal you mentally. Not even thinking about it, gardening will benefit you. If you're suffering from any of those issues or even if you're not and you just wanna try it out, you wanna be a more positive person, try gardening. It has an amazing healing effect on your mental health and lastly guys hidden benefit number four this one it's a little more controversial and this one is gonna happen to everybody at different stages for some people it's gonna happen sooner for other it's going to happen later now plants are living beings just like you and I right and if you didn't know we are all made out of energy energy supposedly cannot be created nor destroyed it can only be transferred from one way to another. But we are all energy. Even the plants that we grow are energy. Now, there's positive energy and there's negative energy. And as human beings, can be both. We can be negative or we can be positive. And depending on which one you have most of, will dictate how you behave and how you interact with other people and how your life in general is. But plants, Plants are not biased. Plants don't care. Plants just want to live. They want to be happy. Plants have positive energy. And that energy, it's not like huge amount of energy. It's very minuscule. But I can tell you, I don't know if you heard the same, but if you hang out with positive people, 
you're gonna be positive but if you ha hang out with negative people you're gonna be negative well guess what if you start hanging out with positive things like plants you're gonna be positive that energy is going to transfer into you and it's going to make you a more positive person whether you like it or not it's just going to change your life I have thousands of plants thousands of plants and I didn't even think about this healing effect of gardening when I first started I didn't even think about it I, I would say for at least the first few years when I started growing plants it hit me though after a few years I can feel the energy that I get from plants and plants also feel my energy plants know I'm not gonna harm them plants know I'm taking care of them plants know I'm not gonna kill them and that is the positive energy that I'm talking about so if you're having issues whatever issues you have just try spending more time with plants their positive energy is going to transfer into you making you a more positive person and not only are you going to be helping yourself by being self-sufficient self-reliant being in the system but also you're going to be helping the environment all the wildlife all the animals it's a symbiotic relationship we are all connected whether you can see it or not we are all connected and the more you become part of the circle the better your life it's going to be now like I said earlier everybody's going to feel this benefit different for me I think it took about three to four years for some people it may be a lot uh, sooner for other people it's, it's gonna be later but I can tell you 99.5 percent of the people who like gardening are positive people I really do not have any issues with anybody that likes plants nobody who truly likes plants not the fakers out there but truly gardeners I can tell you we get along um, like I said I have thousands of plants I can get any plant that I want almost any part of the world anything I want I can get it um, but when I go to somebody's house and I see their garden even though they have the same plants that I have it makes me smile it makes me happy and guess what the person that's growing that stuff that's showing me their garden is making that person happy as well so you know exactly what I'm talking about if you are a gardener and you've been to somebody else's garden but anyways guys so those were the four hidden benefits of gardening if you have benefited from gardening and I did not mention it in this video comment below let me know how gardening has benefited you I can tell you it has benefited me tremendously and I have met so many people through gardening that if it wasn't for gardening I wouldn't be here guys if it wasn't for gardening I wouldn't have this YouTube channel and if it wasn't for gardening I would not be talking to you right now so every time it happens for a reason guys so do not procrastinate and do not let opportunities go and like I said I met so many people I have met so many alcoholics that actually got into gardening and they were able to quit I have met a lot of uh, people who had uh, a drug issue and they got into gardening and magically they don't have any issues anymore I have met a lot of smokers that I uh, couldn't quit smoking and they got into gardening and they don't smoke anymore now you see all the benefits the hidden benefits that I'm talking about and when these people actually got into gardening they didn't get into it just to quit smoking to quit drinking or to quit drugs it was just a hidden benefit that they actually found out after they got into gardening for different reasons anyways guys don't forget to like the video if you liked it so it gets recommended to other people so pe more people can see what true gardening is about and as always i will see you next time